What's up guys, my name is Mikey Dangles, and before I start anything about this commentary, I just want to thank iPod King Carter for letting me post on his channel for this new series that he's doing called So You Think You Can Commentate. It's a really cool thing that he's doing to help out smaller channels get known, get big, things like that. So once again, I just want to thank iPod King Carter for letting me post on his channel for this series. But before I talk anything about the gameplay, First off, my name is Mikey Dangles. I'm representing Game Face Studios. If you guys don't know what Game Face Studios is, is by now, you guys just need to get out of the closet, out of the dark closet that you guys are in. Game Face Studios is an awesome community channel with awesome directors, but I won't get into that right now. Basically, what I do on my channel, Mikey Dangles, I mostly post NHL 12 gameplay like you guys are watching right now. I like to play shootouts like you guys are watching right now. And I love to play Ultimate Team. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what Ultimate Team is. Even if you don't play NHL 12 because they have it on Madden and FIFA and other games like that. And even if you don't like hockey guys, which some of you guys might not like hockey because I know a lot of you guys are NBA fans on iPod King Carter's channel. So some of you guys might not like the NHL, but... Trust me when I tell you this, guys. I used to not be a soccer fan or a football fan, depending where you're from. I used to not really like it at all. But once I got into FIFA and then I started watching FIFA videos on the internet, I started to love watching soccer a little bit and I started to love playing FIFA more. I know that probably sounds really dumb starting to like a sport because of a video game. Well, it's true. I just started liking soccer because of FIFA 12. So if you guys aren't really NHL fans, don't give up on me, guys. Just watch my videos. I promise I'll make you guys like hockey. Even if you don't like hockey, I'll make you like it. But my favorite game modes to put on my channel are definitely Ultimate Team and Shootout Modes. Ultimate Team, you just get to start with a bad team and build them up all the way, which is really fun, and I love doing that. And I should probably tell you guys, I've been doing this YouTube thing on this channel since August 20th on this channel, and I'm at... 791 subscribers right now so I'm just trying to grow guys so you guys should come check out my channel after this video but now that the first shootout is over let's get into the second shootout for this shootout I'm using the struggling Washington Caps if you guys didn't know the Caps are struggling a lot right now they've lost three in a row and the whole team is just garbage right now I'm just gonna plain out say they're garbage right now they've lost three in a row Partially or mainly due to the fact because of their bad goaltending. If you guys didn't know, Vokun the other night, Thomas Vokun, he was just playing terrible. There was about 11 shots on net and he let in 5 shots and then we had to take him out and put in Michael Neuverth. And he, Michael Neuverth played okay when he was put into the game last night, but still, the Washington Cavs have just been playing terrible. Their defense hasn't been up to par. If you guys didn't know, Mike Green, he's a defensive player on our team. He's been playing terrible. Well, not terrible. He's been injured. He's been playing okay, but he's not a good defensive player. And we've been saying for about three years now, we need to get rid of Mike Green when he still has value left in him. So we can still trade him away for an okay player. And we just haven't been doing that. I don't know why. And if we trade him now, we're not going to get good value out of it. We might get okay value out of it, but... If we would have traded him, say, a year ago or even two years ago, we could have gotten a good guy out of it. If we would have traded him during this offseason or during last offseason, we could have might have gotten a guy like Mike Richards or somebody like that. But nope, we're still stuck with Mike Green right now. So the Caps' main problem is their goaltending and their defense isn't really that playing that well either. So the Caps have a lot of trouble that they're in right now. And even Alex Ovechkin, their captain, I know he's leading the team with goals scored, but a lot of you guys probably know he's not playing up to par with how people think he should be playing. A lot of people are saying he's under or overrated, and I'm just really pissed at that because I'm a Cavs fan. And just because he's having a bad season compared to what we're expecting from him, that's just complete BS to me. He has 24 goals, and people are saying he's overrated, and that's just pissing me off, but... It is true, he's not really playing as best as he should be right now. Um, even as a leader, as a captain, he should be playing a lot better, and he should just be a better leader in my opinion. I know a lot of you guys who are Caps fans don't want to hear anything good about Sidney Crosby. Well, at least Sidney Crosby trains a lot in the offseason. If you guys didn't know Alex Ovechkin, he doesn't train as much as he should be, and Sidney Crosby is training all the time. 
If you guys look at Alex Ovechkin, if you guys follow him on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, he's always partying in Russia during the offseason. For like the first three months of the offseason, he's partying in Russia. And Sidney Crosby is training basically the whole offseason. And if I think Alex Ovechkin trains more often, I think he'll be a better player and a better captain. I don't know. That's just my opinion, guys. I won that shootout with that nice little bunny hop goal. He fooled me twice with the diving poke check, but the third time, you're not going to fool me again. Brooks Lake was able to get that nice bunny hop goal. But for this next game, we are using the Columbus Blue Jackets against the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Toronto Maple Leafs, last time I checked, they were 8th place in the Eastern Conference. They could be in 7th place right now, but I'm pretty sure they're about in 8th place. And the Columbus Blue Jackets are last in their conference right now, and they've just been playing terrible this whole season. If you guys didn't know, they're pretty much blowing up right now as a team. I'm pretty sure you guys have all heard about Rick Nash, and there's rumors about him being traded, things like that. And as a player, when any of the media asks you a question about you being traded, of course they're going to say, no, I love playing in this city right now, which in his case, it's Columbus, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be traded. If you guys didn't know, another player on the Columbus Blue Jackets named Antoine Vermet was traded to the Phoenix Coyotes for a goaltender and a 2012 second round pick in the draft and I don't know if that's good because well the second round pick is okay but you guys know talent takes a long time to develop but the goaltender to replace Mason as the goaltender I don't know if that's a good choice but whatever he needed to be traded away he wasn't producing so you might as well get rid of him but Let's get back to Rick Nash. Rick Nash, I did think earlier that he was going to go to New York, to the New York Rangers. I thought he was going to go to them because they're a Stanley Cup contender team. Rick Nash wants to be in a Stanley Cup. If you guys didn't know, he's been in the league for about seven to eight years right now, and he really wants to win a Stanley Cup. And the New York Rangers are definitely a contender to be a Stanley Cup champion this year, but I don't know if it's looking that way anymore because... It seems like he's leading more towards the San Jose Sharks right now. I've been hearing rumors about San Jose being interested in Rick Nash. And I don't know where he's going to go to, to tell you guys the truth. I really thought it was going to be New York, but it's not sounding that way anymore. So I've heard rumors about San Jose wanting him, like I said. And the other night, if you guys didn't know, when he was playing in New York, he got the winning or not the winning goal but the goal to send the game into overtime and the all the fans in New York basically booed him and said we don't want you and just completely just embarrassed him basically by saying we don't want you we don't want you coming in New York things like that and honestly I think that's dumb of the Rangers fans they're always the classiest fans in the NHL right saying that to Rick Nash now Rick Nash doesn't even want to come to New York because of that probably but I don't know where he's ending up, guys. I'm as confused as all of you guys are, but that's the end of the commentary, guys. Please make sure to come check out my channel and subscribe, guys. I promise I'm going to give out a lot of good content in the future. And like I said, I mostly put out NHL 12 gameplay, but every week I'm going to have one miscellaneous gameplay. So my fans don't always have to watch NHL 12. Like maybe I'll have one FIFA video a week or one Madden video a week, just something to... Make it fresh a little bit. You know, have some Madden once in a while. But as always, guys, Mikey Dangles is out. Don't forget to come check out my channel. And thanks once again to iPod King Carter. Peace.